Hi Sagittarius, it's Heidi. I'm back. <clears throat> so I always check the astrology before I decide what reading I'm doing. I know, I know. And since today, what they're saying is that, you know, there's a lot of heart energy going on. A lot of people feeling the love and wanting to, you know, um, come together in that nurturing energy. I thought, okay, so let's get to the love, right? Since we're all feeling it, might as well do it. Might as well do it. So, we are doing you and your person. So, this is definitely, if you are connected to someone, you know, you are, you don't even necessarily have to be together because I feel like you're not together. This kind of feels like a separation reading, but if there's someone particular that's on your mind that you've been dealing with, then this will be for you. If there is no one, I mean, it could also tell you someone who's coming into your life. We don't know, do we? Because time is fluid. So what we're going to do here is look at the situation first. And then we're going to get your person's feelings, your feelings, and what their next actions might be. Okay. What's going to happen next? That's what we all want to know, right? <laughs> I am a Sagittarius sun and moon. Yes, I laugh about a lot of things, but I take it all very seriously too. So, here we go, Sag. Here we go. Wow, this is like such a magnetic connection if, if I ever saw one. I, I feel like this is someone, uh, Sag, that you struggle with staying away from, okay? And vice versa. But there is definitely, there are things that stand between you. So, here we go. Here we go, Sage. Religious factors. This could be, you know, where you both stand spiritually. Um, how you were brought up. I really am feeling like that. Like, there's a, like, you're very different. And maybe even your beliefs are very different. Which sometimes makes it really hard in love. Am I right? <laughs> yeah, it finds it hard to be on the same page. But I feel like spiritually you may be different. You know, the way that you grew up may be different. Because how we grow up really has to do with what we believe, right? And I feel like that is the thing that comes, like, in the middle of this connection. That's the roadblock. Um, but the truth is... Is that it, both of you know that you are each other's one. You know it. This is your soulmate. You know this. Like you might have questions about it a lot. Um, especially because of your differences, right? You may have these questions. Oh, is this my person? Is this the one? But the truth is, is like, yes, this is your person. Yes, you already know. <laughs> I mean, we spend so much time fighting things that we just, like, never get together. And there's some narrative that says we have to be, we have to think totally the same. And no, that's not the truth. You can have differences, even spiritual differences. You can even be, now it is really difficult, you know, to be of two different religions and bring it together. It is difficult, but it's not impossible, you know, because... You know, I feel like we all worship the same thing, just we call it by different names and we do it in different ways. So, you know, as a spiritual person, you tend to, to know that. But I feel like you both maybe um, deal with your beliefs in general, like your belief system. It could be about relationships is different. You just come from two different places. And so... You know, you may have questioned in the past, if this really is the person, you know, is this really the person? Can we be this different and be together, you know, or, or how can someone so different from me be my soulmate? Because connection is real deep connection is not based on outside factors. You know, now I know what you're saying. Your belief system is inside, but our beliefs are ingrained in us by others. <laughs> <Aren't I? laughs> 
<laughs> Ooh, look at that. Passion. A magnetic and seductive quality surrounds you at the pres present time. Like what I was just saying. Like you have so many differences and you really think that's that may be saying you're not soulmates, but yet you can't stay away from each other. <laughs> yes, this is a magnetic connection. You always feel pulled back to each other. Okay. So let's see a little bit about your person and then we'll go a little bit more into what's going on currently in this situation. Cassette, outdated thinking, conditioning, replaying events over in your head. This is your person. So they're definitely an overthinker. They're definitely thinking about everything that happened. And I feel like this is, this is like pulling them to a place where they actually are challenging their beliefs their own conditioning, their own, the ideas that were instilled in them and others, you know, maybe it's the way they think about things, you know, um, I feel like that's changing because there's expansion here. Paradise is growth. It's joy. It's being happy. Like maybe this person is starting to grasp the fact that the things that they have been led to believe, the conditioning that they have had throughout their life has actually kept them from joy. All right. So what's been going on, right? Okay. Round and round. I feel like this is why you left the connection. Okay. Now five plus two is seven, which can tell you like very much that there is re there is rebirth here. Okay. But I feel like, the you know, you may have ended it. And there was definitely an ending because there's a regeneration. But you definitely ended it because it was kind of like there was a pattern that needed to be broken. It was like the same thing over and over and over again, right? Like a hamster wheel, right? And so I do feel like you you ended it. I feel, I don't know who ended it, but it ended. Because, you know, you couldn't stay on that cycle anymore. Now, regeneration is a completion, right? Rising from the ashes. Um, so this is coming back, especially with round and round and regeneration. This is coming back, all right? And this time there's changes that are coming in that are, you know, there's a change. At peace is coming in. I love it. I love that, Saj. Now we're going to get on to your person's feelings. Okay, Saj, we're back. How does your person feel right now? Okay. So, you know, what's coming up for them is they're going through a transformation, right? Possibly. They could also have um, strong Scorpio in them because the Death card and the Four of Pentacles is here. Um... So I, I kind of feel like your person is, um, they haven't let go of believing that things could change. Okay. All right. Sounds good, right? <laughs> they want to end this, this BS, right? The 10 of wands. Now the tens are completions. Remember that. You know, there's been a lot of heaviness between you and, and they want to, you know, they're kind of figuring things out. They know that this relationship is at a crossroads, okay, with the two of wands, right? Um, they know that things need to go in a different direction and they're kind of coming to that decision. They're trying to figure out how to do it, right? Because with the Six of Pentacles, that's about bringing things into balance. And they, they want to do this. They want to do this. So this is leading to conversation and clearing the air. I, I kind of feel, though, you know, your person is in a mental space, right? Maybe even kind of like a spiritual place where they are kind of... Um, it could be through prayer or through meditation. Um, they're trying to come up with the answers on how to do this. Like, how do we do this now? How do we do it now? Because we can't, you know, there's a sense that you can't do it the same way you did before. 
And that is bringing in stability and change. You know, um, the four of wands, you know, that is that things turning around, you know, definitely. So that's your person. So let's take a look at how you feel, Sag. Okay, Sag, here we are to your feelings. <laughs> so, you know, underneath it all, Sag, you know, you want healing here. You want healing. Um, and I kind of feel like you, you do want um, healing with this person. You do want a fresh start, right? And you might even be feeling that it's possible because with the, you know, with the star, we feel hope. But I feel like you're afraid to. You're afraid to, you know, believe that it's possible to to have have your wishes fulfilled here, right? Um, and I get, kind of get the sense, too, it was because of something that was said. Or, you know, there could be this feeling that you don't know what to say, you know? But how you're feeling is the Queen of Swords. You're trying to be logical, right? Um, and that is also saying that there there may be a, a conversation. But I think for the most part, you've learned a big lesson here. You know, you've learned a big lesson. And with the Five of Cups, you know, it may be about holding on to past things. Like you... You know that you were holding on to things that happened in the past with this person. And that needed to be let go of <clears throat> on a personal level so that you could actually have this conversation, right? And with the Fool, it's bringing a new beginning. It's kind of like, and this new beginning allows for this to happen. Allows to let go of resentment. You know, to be able to see the... the the love that's still there. You know, it's just a matter of getting over something that happened. Um, and you are kind of feeling um, like maybe you have withdrawn to, 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 to do this work, right? I, and I also feel too with the Nine of Wands, you may feel the need to protect yourself. You know, um, let's see what's on top. But, yeah, oh, Queen of Cups. <laughs> Do you love this person? You love this person. Period. <laughs> Period. Okay, so we are next. We are going to take a look and see what actions are taken next. Stay tuned. Okay, Sag, so what happens next here? What happens next is that, you know... The Empress is first, so there definitely is re a rebirth, planting new seeds with this person, um, starting fresh, um, and really being open to healing it because, you know, I feel like, I feel like there's a return to love here. There's a return to love and there's also a sense of, because the, the King of Cups, right, is ready for this, right? And and definitely there's a sense that y'all have dealt with some outside forces um, in terms of, you know, this connection, right? And the Knight, of, the, the Knight of Pentacles with the King of Cups also knows that, you know, making all this happen and bringing this into balance is going to take time and it's going to be about what you do every day. And there's a sense of not being in a rush, right? Because the King of the, the Knight of Pentacles is is all about the process, doing the right thing day after day after day, and being really patient with it, right? Being really patient with the process, and <clears throat> you know, I will tell you one thing that is happening: you are getting on the same page, right? But this can also be. Like, letting go of the drama of this situation and letting other people and things outside of this relationship have a say. You know, that may be one of the problems, right? And so, wishes are coming true here, y'all. Wishes are coming true. You both want this. And, and it, you know, you both want this personally within yourselves. And so, there is happiness here. 
happiness and opening up to love. Wow, page of cups. Oh, wow, yeah. So you're like literally opening the door, opening up, you know, um, opening your heart to this. Wow, I love this. I love this energy. It's like I don't even think, I don't know if you even need this advice card, but we'll do it anyway. So what is the advice here for Sagittarius? What is the advice? I think that once you start coming from the energy of love, it kind of changes everything. Oh, the advice popped out. <laughs> Spend quality time to together. Like, there is going to be conversation here. A lot of talk, and you have to really listen. Like, listen to understand. And have faith that things can work out. And the reason you need to have faith is because it's going to take time. Definitely. That's what I see. Okay, Sagittarius, be the love. 